We love logistics. What can Brown do for you? Moving at the speed of business. Your world on time. These are all advertising slogans used by logistics companies in primetime television to tout their capabilities. Walmart's created the world's largest corporation based on a well-managed supply chain and world-class logistics management. And Amazon's looking at exploring the use of drone technology to deliver packages directly to your doorstep. Supply chain and global logistics are not the same that they were 15, even 10 years ago. While we're moving goods still from point A to point B, technology is increasingly a major component in the global logistics and supply chain realm. The importance of supply chain globally, when you look at it from a career standpoint or you look at it from a business standpoint, supply chain definitely adds value to the whole creation of this whole globalization from an a economy standpoint. Logistics is important to the global economy for many reasons. Um, one, I don't believe our society would exist as we know it without logistics. When you look at global supply chains and logistics in today's world, it's very critical that those functions are readily understood and that we have the skill basis that we need to operate in, in today's world. Globalization and supply chain complexities today, when you think about them, are really stretching today's supply chains. Logistics affects every business segment, uh, not only in the U.S., but worldwide. Anything that um, is used or consumed has gotten to its final destination because of logistics. We're also finding that global logistics and supply chain is becoming a universal foundational competency that's needed in the business world, much like finance or accounting. Folks who don't work in global logistics or supply chain specifically still are required to have that good knowledge of how to move things and how, how, how things flow through their organization. If you look at our company, for example, we bring products from eight different countries. We assemble them, distribute them to four different countries. So you have to understand the compliance regulations, all the freight modes that have to be approved and negotiated, chartered, um, and bonded together in order to deliver those um, and stay truly in touch with U.S. Customs laws and regulations. At Syngenta, we use all modes from our heavy chemicals that we move in bulk with rail cars all the way down to our little seed packs that we use UPS. So we use truckload, LTL, rail, tank truck, and truckload. So, uh, and we also, with the import-export international, we do containers. So we use the steamship lines and take advantage of those uh, modes. Currently, we actually do inbound ocean freight. Uh, we do inland and intermodal freight. Uh, we also do some air freight. Um, and then occasionally, we, we do some rail. When I entered into the industry, it was pretty manual. We actually had to um, contact carriers to get an ETA estimate time of arrival. We actually had to call them and say, can you give me a POD or a proof of delivery? Um, and I like to think that the industry became automated as the internet also became more popular and more and more companies were relying on the internet to um, provide instant access to their customers. Technology is vital to running um, a logistics program and warehousing program with, within um, different companies. Technology to me is kind of the frontier and one of the most exciting areas for anybody getting into the supply chain space. You've got some of your basic TMS or transportation management systems, you've got some of your basic WMS warehouse management systems, but now you see more people going to RFM, you see a lot more of this computing in a cloud, uh, service as a software. Our global logistics program is preparing the workforce of tomorrow with not only the theoretical understanding of global logistics and supply chain, but also the practical exposure to the technology that they will use and be exposed to in the workforce. We're teaching our students how technology actually makes processes better. We're teaching that technology does not replace people, however, but we can use technology to improve our efficiencies, and logistics is about efficiency. And at Forsyth Tech, um, we understand that technology is the backbone of the industry, and we understand that it has its rightful place in this industry. Uh, I started out really on the shipper side as an intern 
sitting in the coffee room filing claims. So that kind of got me started. And for those that are really not savvy with the claims are just basically when there's an incident with the carrier, uh, you file a claim, pr prepare all the documentation, and it gives you a chance to get exposed to some of the legal aspects of a bill of lading and what rights you have under this shipment. And then now today, fast forward, I'm kind of the North American operations manager, so for two divisions and uh, oversee a team, a strong team of logistics professionals, and each one of them have their kind of core competencies and areas that we manage, from plant logistics all the way through execution and inventory management. I actually started in sales with this organization, but my background was in logistics with Procter & Gamble. Um, and as I moved into this organization, um, it became clear that we needed to improve our supply chain. So I actually moved over into operations several years ago to help build our supply chain. I got in logistics um, somewhat by accident. Um, I was uh, an accounting major um, from the University of South Florida in Tampa. And by happenstance, um, looked on the board at, um, in the uh, um, office within the, within the university there and found a job for working for a trucking company. Um, so I interviewed for the, uh, with them and, and got the position. Um, and that was within cargo claims and loss prevention um, many years ago. Global logistics and supply chain training is so important to our community because we do know that according to the Department of Labor, there's going to be about a 25% increase from 2010 to 2020 in uh, global logistics and supply chain jobs. So we do know that there is a, there's definitely going to be a need. When I look at it from where I sit, being with a global company like Syngenta and uh, working with the international team and the domestic team, I see there's a lot of opportunities on many fronts. Uh, you look at it from a bucket of customer focus, you look at it a bucket of fiscal responsibility, and then you look at it from an environmental stewardship. So in each one of those buckets, you have a career. Careers within logistics, um, there's certain, certainly many avenues um, for that. Um, one is the carrier side. So working for trucking companies, air cargo carriers, ocean carriers, um, rail um, are some of the avenues that a person could get into in logistics. We need skills that are broad-based in thinking. We need supply chain skills. We need working capital knowledge. We need freight and logistics skills. We need compliance skills. All of those are part of the supply chain complex skills that are required to operate in today's world. And it's critical that we have the certifications, the requirements, the skill base, the trainings to build the future pipeline of skill sets required to operate our global supply chain. Logistics is the managing of flow of goods in and out of inventory. Supply chain management is the management of, and flow of goods, the information and the money from raw materials to component parts to finished goods to the ultimate customer. Supply chain management is the ultimate advantage as seen by companies like Walmart, Amazon and Apple. As the United States has transitioned from a manufacturing based economy to a service based economy, Logistics and supply chain management have grown into a major career area for the 21st century. Over the next 15 years, jobs in supply chain management are anticipated to grow more than 25%. Many of these newly created jobs remain unfulfilled due to the lack of job candidates. What are some of the key skills that you will need for a career in logistics and supply chain management? First, an ability to create sound logistics and supply chain planning strategies. Second, Understand how to deliver the benefits of a company core value offerings. Three, understand the requirements to deliver value to your customers through cost leadership and superior service. Four, develop the skills to appropriately manage, analyze, and supply product information. Develop and maintain key supplier and customer relationships. And lastly, to interpret and understand practical applications of metrics for measuring logistics, transportation, and supply chain performance. Logistic and supply chain management are prime areas today for realizing cost efficiencies and creating competitive advantages in corporations. 
Forsyth Tech offers day and evening classes that cover the introduction to logistics and supply chain management, operations planning, transportation and distribution management, purchasing, and supply chain management. Formal training is required to learn how to create value in an organization through supply chain management. Learning these skills from our available training programs will help you become the valued employee that the supply chain management organizations are looking to hire. If you're considering a career in logistics and supply chain management, Forsyth Tech can help you attain your goal.